Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail we have some more makeup y'all. Um, this is the new palette by Melt Cosmetic. I did do an initial review on it but I'm back today to do another look like y'all requested and of course I want to do it anyway. <laughs> but anyway before we get to involving what this makeup look is going to be about definitely do not hesitate to subscribe. I would love to have you here. I am definitely trying to grow my channel and you know I have just a teeny weeny eensy weensy small makeup addiction so we're gonna be doing a lot of makeup on this channel so um yeah just continue on watching so um also i want to use some products that i haven't used in a long time or never used like this right here this is from the beauty bakery or i don't know if it's the beauty bakery but it's beauty bakery this is a highlight palette the milk and honey highlighter palette and of course like i said some things that i have hardly used this is from the crayon case <laughs> so um this is a blush binder so i will be playing a little bit in this palette too so anyway so if you are interested in how i got the look in the thumbnail definitely continue on watching okay, so i'm back and of course i put my hair back and i did prime my eyes already with this right here this is um the mag paint pot in lay and low And if you are interested in the hair that I'm wearing, I do have another channel called Phoebe Rome. So if you like hair, definitely go over there and subscribe. This one is being reviewed right now, just in case you are interested. Very affordable. So anyway, let's just get into this palette. Just in case y'all haven't seen what the palette looks like, this is it. This is that beautiful color story. Um, obviously, I have done it. Um, Use this palette once and the link to my first review will be in the description box below if you go ahead and check it out so the first color that i want to go in with is going to be this one right here so i'm gonna go in light with that color so i want to start off with this brush right here this is from sigma this is the sigma tapered blending brush the e40 brush and y'all a lot <laughs> just picked up on this brush i don't like that because i want to go in light so i'm gonna try to kick some of it back in without even uh losing it because y'all this palette costs 70 dollars i ain't trying to dust it all off over my table so so yeah this is gonna hopefully be my transitional shade so i'm gonna just go in and start tapping up here right in the crease so i'm gonna go back in and pick up a little bit more of that color but i'm gonna kind of go a little bit under as y'all can see a little bit further down and try to blend that out a little bit more at the top and of course i'm gonna pick up a little bit more and go lower like right directly under the faded color and just blend it out until I like what I see. Okay, so back into the palette, I'm gonna pick up this one right here. This is slightly darker than the first one, so hopefully we can get a good transition. I'm just gonna take this brush right here from Morphe. This is the M433 brush, and I'm gonna go right under that first color we laid down. Oh yeah, it's giving us a um, nice deep not too deep but perfect transition from the last and today i want to do an easy look y'all we are not going to be doing a cut crease today so i'm going to go back in with that first color and blend those two colors together i'm adding a little bit more of the first color not too hard to blend out either y'all so i definitely appreciate that not adding any more of the second color i'm just gonna go on top just to make sure everything looks good so next one is going to be this color right here and the brush that i will be using is this one right here these are from yana's eyes i got this from the poison ivory set and as you can see this one is a lot slimmer and smaller and tapered compared to the other two so i'm gonna go in 
with that color and add it right under the last one. So I'm gonna go back in with the last color that I used. And of course the first shade that I used. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I was gonna darken up the corners a little bit even more, but I think this looks good. I wanna clean up a little bit of this makeup off my lid so I can add a shimmer shade. And just patting a little bit of the primer that I used earlier. Okay, so y'all, let's go back into the palette. Yeah, Sigordo, Sigordo. And I'm just gonna take my fingers and see what happens, cause I'm trying to save my brushes from being dirty. We'll probably end up using the brush anyway, so. Oh yeah, this is real pretty. This is real pretty, y'all. I like this. Um, let's go in with another shade. I'm trying to use as many as possible. We're gonna go in with this pretty pink color right here. It's kind of like an off pink, maybe with a little bit of undertone of, no, it's just pink, I think. <laughs> and I'm just gonna tap right here. And blend it in with that last dark shade that we put on and blending it in with the shimmer shade as well. And going back in to blend that dark shade in. What color is that? That is Maria, actually. <laughs> Very easy to pronounce. See, I'm gonna end up using a brush anyway because I like my, uh, my shimmer shades to kind of fade out and it's not really fading out as much as I want. So I'm taking this brush right here. This is a brush I got from Sigma. This is the E17 brush right here. Very, very small brush. And I'm just gonna take it and pass it along the edges. I only tap in that shimmer color just a little bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it and fade it out just a little bit into the dark shade. Okay, and I wanna use one more shade i think i'm gonna go in with this one right here this is tequila and i just want to put a little bit of that color in the inner corners and just drag it a little bit into segordo oh and the brush that i'm using is from marfa this is a m222 brush y'all so this is what i am looking like and i am really liking it y'all this is really pretty i'm liking it but anyway um let's go back into the palette we're gonna take the colors mostly just the matte colors i don't want to use any shimmers on the bottom to me i just don't like that i never use the shimmers on the bottom anyway maybe another day but um i'll try it again but i remember doing it once before and i didn't like it but yeah i'm gonna take all the matte shades so the first one that I'm gonna be using is going to be this one right here. And this is a brush I got from Yana's Eyes. This one is another set that I got from her. I forgot the name of this set, but I'm gonna put it on 
the screen and in the description box just in case you're interested in her brushes. I definitely recommend if you are interested in some affordable good brushes. So um, yeah, I'm gonna just take this straight across. And I'm gonna take Nevada Vita, the second dark shade that I used on my eye and just go right on top of the first color and go straight across. And that brush is the M165 brush from Morphe. Add a little bit more of the first color. Just to blow it out a little bit more. You know what, I'm gonna leave it just like this or should I? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of black eyeliner in my waterline and of course add a little mascara and we will be just about done. Okay, y'all, so I had to eat a little something. I'm eating chicken nuggets, so hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. But anyway, um, let's talk about this. This is obviously the finished look, and I think it came out really, really pretty. I do like this one, y'all. I actually like this look better than the first one that I created. This is more wearable, obviously. The other one has, you know, the, the, the greens and stuff in it. But this is really, really pretty. I like it. So, um, y'all, let's talk. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about the palette. Did y'all pick this up? Did y'all pick anything up from that collection? I do have two eyeliners. Maybe we'll talk about that next week sometime. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this one right here. And of course, any other palette or product that I use in this video, even not in this video, that you want to recommend. Let me know what y'all think about the look. Let's talk. Do not forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I will see y'all in my next 